All new tonight. The problem solvers investigate cruel child abuse, allegedly at the hands of a mom. They knew and they didn't do anything about it. And then they try to blame things on my mother. The relative who turned the mother in. And the big question for social services. Why didn't they do more to protect the kids? Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Deborah Takahara. And I'm Jeremy Hubbard. Social services had been involved several times and the alleged abuse had gone on for five years before police finally arrested Yada Davis. She's behind bars for horrific home violence. We want to warn you, some of the details may be disturbing. Fox 31 Denver problem solver Justin Joseph uncovering the lapses that could have saved children from years of abuse. Justin. Jeremy, these are just two of the tools police say this mother used over the years to severely abuse her children. A steaming iron and a power drill. Tonight, that mother is in custody here at the Denver jail, all thanks to a family member who turned her in. Facebook photos show Kenyatta Davis took good care of herself. But police say the same cannot be said for her two children. It's hard on us as, as far as to know what happened. Davis's sister talked to us about the dark secret she's just now learning about what happened behind closed doors at her sister's Greenwood Valley home. Dark secrets and severe abuse that police say started when these two children were toddlers. They are now ages 11 and 12. It was a hard decision, but at the same time, it made it a little easier because of what the kids have been going through what they had told me and what I had seen personally on them as far as bruises and burns. The sister asked us not to use her name because she is the one who saw the injuries and turned her sister in. Her frightening 911 call is documented in these police reports. Police say the sister said both children made outcry to her of extensive physical abuse. On one occasion, the son claiming his mother placed the iron against his shoulder, pushed the steam button, causing a large burn. Worse, Police say the daughter still has scars from when she was eight, which she reported was from the mother driving a power drill through her hand as she tried to cover her face. Police say when the children didn't clean house, Davis punished them by beating them with a bell. When that didn't work, she steamed them with an iron. They were just kids that just wanted to turn off. Neighbors never suspected anything, but the family says Denver Human Services did. They say they recently learned the department visited the home three times in three years. And even though the sister says she saw the children's injuries immediately. They knew and they didn't do anything about it. Still, she says, Denver Human Services did nothing. Now, you'll remember the mayor created a task force last month after the death of two-year-old J.D. and Johnson's under very similar circumstances. It's too early to see if that task force may have had some results here. But tonight, the problem solvers reached out to Denver Health and Human Services. They said they obviously uh, don't condone any instances of abuse, but they can't comment on specific cases. Reporting live, Justin Joseph, Fox 31. Denver.